well, the character here's a complicating thing in the, yeah. in the uh, just in, with regard to this movie. It's an alienated a character. character. The character is sort of standing outside of himself, looking at his own life. Like the Big Sleep or something like that. You know, a Marlowe movie or something like that. You're in, you're intended to sort of experience the movie through the character in a different way. You know, almost as sort of an audience surrogate, discovering things as he discovers them and. Um, uh, it's a different kind of identification that you're meant to have with the main character. And the character himself has got a different relationship to the world that he's in, you know? But unlike, you know, unlike those movies, there's, <clears throat> there's no mystery in this one. I mean, you know, everybody knows all along the way what's exactly what's happening and who's doing what to whom. You say he was being blackmailed. By who? You don't know. For having an affair. With who? You don't know. Did anyone else know about it? Probably not. You don't know. The ambition of the movie isn't realism and that it's, you know, it's fictional and that, you know, period, sending something in period is another way of removing it from reality. Yeah. It's like I mean, saying it's once upon from... a time, you know? Sooner or later, everyone needs a haircut. Whatever elements of humor in it are just a product of our point of view in terms of how we want to tell the story or how the story evolves and we're not we don't if there's some humor in the situation it's not something which we sort of feel like we have to avoid because it's not a comedy in fact we don't even think about it in those terms you know what i mean it's just the story evolves on its own accord and it's <coughs> got a certain amount of humor in it and a certain amount of you know even if it's not a comedy, I'm saying, you know. I, right. I, I, I mean, all we think about is the characters in their story context, and that might be funny in places or not, but we don't think about whether it's funny or not. We think about the story, the, the characters and their place in the story. Me, I don't talk much. I just cut the hair. We, just as a practical matter, we would usually cut the voiceover. Didn't we usually cut the voiceover before we cut the scene? We sort of assembled it, you know? Yeah, and then as we added the, as we put in the picture, we modified the voiceover with the picture. Yeah, yeah. we generally started with the voiceover, then cut the picture, and then adjusted the voiceover to the picture. Yeah. Um, it, yeah. It was kind of a feedback thing. And actually, yeah. Billy Bub's smoking during the voiceover was kind of helped somehow. And actually, the next one <laughs> should tend to bear you out is completely visual there's no uh, virtually no dialogue in the next one